Hello everyone, this is Vikram and welcome to my channel. In this video, we will talk about installing kubectl on Windows. So first we'll search for installing kubectl. And then we will go to this link, install and set up kubectl. Uh, basically this is for Linux, but if you click on these install tools link, so you'll have option to install on all three operating systems. Let's click on install kubectl on Windows. Now we can install Windows uh, using Chocolatey or Winget. But uh, what we'll do is we'll follow uh, the direct approach that is by downloading kubectl binary. So the latest version is kubectl 1.28.2. So if you want to see all the releases, um, you can go to this link uh, or else you can uh, you know take a look at this stable.txt link. So let's click on this kubectl 1.2.2. So directly what it will do is it will directly download the application. So you can download it to any folder. So let's download it into downloads for now. And then once it is downloaded, let's go to the downloads and then try to open command prompt here. Uh, so we are in the downloads folder. Now I can simply run kubectl. Uh, hyphen hyphen helm just to see whether the kubectl is working or not now we can see kubectl is working i can also do one thing i can get the version of kubectl but uh, this will also check the version of the kubernetes cluster that kubectl is trying to connect since we don't have uh, the cluster uh, any cluster running so let's disable uh, let's pass this flag called client equal to true then it will only print the kubectl client version that is 1.28.2 and one thing we need to know uh, here is that since we are um, since kubectl is downloaded into this downloaded folder and we are already in this folder it is uh, that's the reason why we are able to execute kubectl commands let's say i'll go back to um, you know a different folder now if i try to execute kubectl commands it won't be uh, detected because uh, kubectl is not there in the path so if you are from linux background uh, so we would basically update the path variable but since we are on windows what we will do is uh, so we will take this kubectl binary so we'll cut it from this downloads folder and what i'll do is i'll go to the c drive uh, and i i will directly put it here or else what i can do is i can create a folder and uh, put kubectl binary inside that so in my case i already have this tools folder so where i basically collect all the binaries so i'm just pasting the kubectl you know uh, binary so under this tools folder of the c drive then what i will do is i'll just copy this link so where i have this kubectl binary so it is uh, basically c drive tools then uh, you can open windows spotlight search and uh, search for environment variables and then click on this edit system environment variable so once you have this dialog box just click on the environment variables here and then you'll see the environment variables for the user and system wide so if you want to add it uh, add the um, update the path only for the user current user you can edit this path or else if you want the kubectl to be detected for all the users in the system you would edit the system variables so in my case i'll show you the both so first uh, under the user variables click on the path uh, if you see already i have the c drive tools added so if you want to know how to add this path so um, you know basically i'm deleting it first now what you'll do is you'll click on this new and then simply um, you know give the path where you have uh, you know the kubectl binary and click on ok so do the same for this path variable uh, under the system variables so currently it is not uh, yeah so if you see i already have this so what i'll do is i'll uh, basically delete it and then click on new and then add the c -tool tools path click on okay okay and then click on this uh, okay so now the path is updated so what you have to do is uh, if you try to run kubectl version now uh, it should work otherwise what you do is you just uh, close any um, uh, terminals um, close any existing terminal and then try to uh, run the command from any location because 
uh, we already updated path uh, updated the path so the kubectl command should work from any path that's it for this uh, video and i'll see you in the next one